Law enforcement officers have one of the most dangerous jobs known to man. Within the scope of their duties, one of the most dangerous tasks is that of placing handcuffs on another person. On one hand, the officers must get dangerously close in order to apply the handcuffs on someone with unknown intentions. And on the other hand, the moment when the cuffs are being applied is when the suspect is most likely to resist violently because that's when their reality sets in. Between the close distance, the high likelihood of active resistance, and the complacency of the officers, Every arrest is a disaster waiting to happen, and this is why we created the Zero Handcuffing System. I'm Sergeant Tim Berger from the Summit County Sheriff's Office. We're out in Torrance right now doing the level two uh, Gracie GST. This stuff is fantastic. We have had zero use of force complaints since we've integrated GST. There's always cameras, there's always people that are around. We're always looking for the least force option to use. Something that's respectful to the suspect, but also is injury safe for the officer. We're now post certified and we have basics compliant handcuffing, we have our zero handcuffing technique, non-compliant handcuffing, we have the zero escort hold. We've learned how to escort a suspect with no pressure without giving that suspect any disrespect. It's zero disrespect to the suspect, it's zero risk to the officer, so it's zero base. I love the way it takes the base away. We've been following more of a straight arm lock, muscle kind of uh, direct by force, and it was nice to see a tactic, more of a de-escalatory tactic. Uh, which is something that we were looking for. The zero escort and, and the zero cuffing techniques that we've learned today will benefit the entire agency when I take it back and we teach those extra little pieces who come back and train the same similar techniques but we still learn something new every time and we love how it evolves with the times and what law enforcement is going through in the world right now. I've been training for over 17 years in Jiu Jitsu. Um, I'm a BJJ black belt. What I really respect about the Gracies is they were able to adapt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to be applicable to law enforcement. We gain so much confidence from this program. Thanks for watching everyone. GST is the only Jiu Jitsu based defensive tactics program that is post certified in virtually every state in the US, medically and legally reviewed, and is now 100% accessible and certifiable online for both levels one and two. To review upcoming course dates, apply for online certification, or to learn how you can host a GST instructor certification course at your agency for free, visit gracieuniversity.com slash GST. The future of law enforcement defensive tactics is jujitsu and GST is how you get there.